day vlog, Liverpool face Leeds at Ellen Road. It is a stadium that I've not been to before, so I am really excited for this one. And I'm also extremely excited because, as you can see by the top of my hat, Lucho should be in the squad tonight. Uh, and I cannot wait to see him back on a football pitch playing in red. We have missed him so, so much this season. Liverpool, last time I got a 2-2 draw, came back. Uh, from 2-0 down to draw with Arsenal at Anfield. We obviously know this season that we can get all right results, but the next game we can absolutely fall to pieces and lose. Uh, hence the 7-0 against Manchester United and then the 1-0 loss against Bournemouth away from home. So record doesn't have it that Liverpool are going to do well in this game, uh, but I'm really, really hoping for a good atmosphere, a good performance and three points. Um, what it'll do, I'm not too sure, because without a top four race, uh, so it'll probably just maybe help us get into Europa League. I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, let's go and see how the Reds perform. Before we do get there, though, please do like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Come on, Redmen.
half time and it is 2-0 to Liverpool. Um, a game which 20 minutes in, I thought, my God, it's going to be a slog of the game once again. We had a lot of possession but didn't do anything with it. We were quite slow on the ball, the movement wasn't there. Um, and all of a sudden, we get the first goal with a lovely bit of play. Uh, Trent is a bad ball but wins it back and from there on, uh, we've got a couple of runners. Gakpo at the far post, brilliant goal. And we grew in confidence, the atmosphere from our end grew. Um, and we were all over them, the intensity was there. And we go on and get a second, which is an unbelievable counter-attack shot of Ian Salah. Salah on his left peg, an incredible finish. And from a game which 20 minutes in, I thought, oh no, not another one of these. We're now 2 0 up, and hopefully we can bring that intensity into the second half and really take it to lead. They will need something out of this game, so at some point they'll come after us. Let's hope we can, in that instance, really take the ball off them, uh, find the spaces that they need. Uh, and hopefully get a couple more goals but yeah a much better uh, last 20 minutes than the first 20 and hopefully we can take that on to the second half and hopefully it was Diaz we can have some involvement in the second half as well
Came now the Reds battered Leeds 6 1. Uh, it's possibly the best away day all season. We have only won three other games, but uh, it was boss to see the Reds just do well, to have a bit of confidence, to be ruthless, uh, and to see the reaction from the away fans was, was boss as well. It was a great away end, a great away day, and you could see it by the reaction from the players at full time, all coming over to us, clapping us, Jürgen Klopp smiling. I saw intensity to, tonight, which I loved. Um, I saw us, when we conceded the goal, actually get angry about it and do something about it, instead of crumbling, which I, I enjoyed seeing as well. And yeah, look, it's a, it's a three points that I hope by the end of the season is a massive three points. At this point, you just never know, though. Um, who knows what could come at the end of the season, where we'll be. But I really do hope from now until the end, we give absolutely everything. And hopefully, you know, we might get a little bit lucky along the, the line, along the way, uh, with other teams dropping points. But yeah, let's just go for absolutely everything and see where we finish. Uh, but on to the next one and up the Reds.